Peace and positive blessings to all. It's your favorite author's favorite author, Willie Williams. I would like to welcome everybody to the I Am Podcast, where we break your shackles and build an empires. Before we go any further, before we go any further, I would like to ask everybody, if you have not purchased a copy of the book entitled Mental Clutches, go ahead and do that today. And you can do so by going to Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Walmart.com, or my favorite, I'm telling you my favorite, TheRealMentalClutches.com. You can do that today. Go ahead and place that order, and we're going to get it out to you as fast as possible. I would like to send my apologies and my thank yous to all the personnel that did order a book this last couple of weeks. Um, I do apologize for the delay. Um, the volume was very heavy between the website and inboxes. It was a lot of books that was ordered and um, hey, I ran out. You know what I'm saying? So I had to hurry up and put another you know, request in, get some more copies to, um, you know, to the location and now we was able to get everything out. Um, everybody, if you did place an order. If you haven't received your book, it should be there within a day or two. Our last shipments went out yesterday. All right. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's topic on the I Am Podcast. It's which crazy is how we allow people to steal our joy over the smallest things. All right. I had to even check myself on this. Listen, it is 525,600 minutes in a year. Let me repeat that to you. It is 525,600 minutes in a year. And I cannot tell you how many times I have given a person 10 minutes of that 525,600 minutes. I gave them only 10 minutes and they have ruined my entire year. I allowed them to ruin 525,590 minutes of my year because of a misunderstanding, because of a disagreement, because of an argument. Do you know how silly that is? I looked at myself like, do you know how crazy you sound, brother? That's like you having $10 million and somebody says, hey man, I took $5 from you and I'm pissed about $5 why I still got $9,995,000 left. How crazy would it sound? I know Jay-Z said, if, if you owe me $10, you ain't giving me nine. I get it. But some things, I think even for myself, I had to start realizing, man, you can't put this much energy into something that's not that big. All them other minutes, you got things that you could be doing. All those other minutes should not be tampered with, jeopardized, or brought down because of what somebody said in only 10 minutes. This is advice that I give y'all that I got to look in the mirror and give myself. Don't you let them people steal your joy. <laughs> Rest in peace to my queen. My mother used to say that to me all the time. Don't let them steal your joy, baby. I'd be like, man, man, I miss that woman. But it's so true. We cannot sit here and allow people to only have 10 minutes of our time and affect the other 525,690 minutes we got left. Pardon me, 525,590 minutes left. Yeah, we can't do that. So peace to everybody out there. Just let that marinate for a little bit. Stop giving people so much of your energy. Your positive energy. When somebody's coming at you negative, just understand that that's the world we live in. You're going to have positive and you're going to have negative. And trust us, I'm giving this information. This is something that I got to practice myself. And this is a lifelong um, uh, test here. This ain't something that you're going to get done overnight. Because remember, let me tell you, the biggest hater that you got is always going to be that hater within. See, that's that hater that you done let talk freely for all this time and you ain't never told him just to shut up. You listen to the things that he told you. All the procrastination, all of the putting other people down, all of you putting something off, like I said, procrastination. You've allowed that man to stay in your life. It's time for you to get rid of him as well. You got to get rid of your biggest hater. It's not your co-worker. It's not your spouse. It's not your family. It's not your friends. The biggest hater is within you. And trust and believe it won't be easy to get rid of him because he's been tagging his little ass along for a very long time. But it can be done. And it gets done by you sitting up there realizing who you are. Realizing what goals you're shooting for. Realizing that at no given point in time are you going to let him take 
any type of authority over your life or what you seeking. You got to go after it.